Bob. Hey guys, welcome back. It's Coach Bob. It's Friday. And I'm going to take a quick look at today's workout and how things went down at the 11 o'clock class today. All right. So uh, today's workout had two parts to it. The first part, we were just doing some weightlifting. We were working on power snatches, two sets of three, and push press, two sets of three. And it's pretty cool. I mean, we get to uh, do a little bit of weightlifting before the conditioning workout today. We'll talk a little bit about what that was and what that was like. Uh, this part here, we're we're just kind of building up our weight. Uh, certainly, we you know our score is going to be our heaviest weight for our power snatch, and I'm. And I'm really at the point where I just want to work on the form and the technique. I'm not kind of going for that that last couple of pounds on the bar. So we've got 95 pounds on the bar. And as I kind of watch uh, some of these movements, there's a couple of things that I'm seeing happening with my, uh, my lift that I want to kind of point out and I will hopefully work on a little bit. The first one is uh, as that bar is coming up off of the ground, my, my hips are going to start shooting up uh, pretty immediately. And what that's telling me is that I'm not getting tension, so I'll freeze it here. And what you'll watch, as soon as I start pulling the bar from the ground, um, my hips are going to start shooting up. So I don't really have a good setup where I'm there. See how that uh, hips moved up? So that really kind of tells me that my hips are too low. I need to get more tension on the bar in the bottom. And I feel like that bar is floating out away from me a little bit and I'm not really getting it where I want it to be at the knees. So area for improvement there, love it. Uh, the second thing that I think I'm seeing myself is um, not a very aggressive high pull. I really feel like the upper body's got to be working a little harder for that high pull and I probably am just not that strong uh, with the high pull. I mean, if you think about it, we're, we're not generally just kind of working on that, uh, you know, that high pull kind of strength. So, okay, so I'm just going to scroll ahead. We're going to put another 10 pounds on the bar, five on each side. We'll go to 105 and uh, we'll see how these three go down. Doo, doo, doo. There we go. This is this number one, rep number one, I think, pretty sure. Hips are probably going to shoot up again. I miss the knees and need to come, sweep that bar back, get a little more tension on the bar. Oh, it wasn't too bad, but still I could see those hips really moving on that uh, that initial pull from the ground. So I'm definitely losing a lot there. And I should set those hips a little higher, tighten everything up before I go. And that, that turnover, I'm also noticing as I uh, watched uh, CK uh, do some snatches. She's doing a much better job getting under the bar uh, with that power snatch at partial squat. Uh, I'm not doing that that much. I'm like, yeah, I'll squat a little. <laughs> All right, I'm going to scroll ahead to some push press. And we'll see. I decided to keep the 95 pounds and 105, although I really kind of thought I should be able to do more for the push press. Uh, it's coming from the ground, so we have to clean it. And uh, I was surprised the clean went fairly well. Hey, let's see if uh, those hips move up on the clean too. See if I got the same thing going on there. Just waiting for coach to give us the go, go ahead. And kind of, yeah, I still seem like those hips are really kind of uh, doing their thing. I'm really not happy with the shoulder mobility. <laughs> I do like the position on the front rack. Uh, the bar is definitely on the shoulders for that dip and drive. Um, but I'm just barely getting my four, four fingers on the bar. So probably need to work on just shoulder mobility. Um, but that's, that's the way it is right now. Okay, I'm going to put those fives back on. So we go to 105. And uh, let's scroll ahead here. The last set of three. Oop. Okay, here we go. Dun, dun, dun. Coach, Bob, Coach Bob approaches the bar, gets his hook grip. Is it? Yeah, he does a hook grip. Look at that. Good guy. All right. There he goes. I like that uh, front rack position. The elbows on the push, push press will be down and out, not up high like in a front rack. I can just see those wrists. I mean, they're okay because it's resting on my shoulders. But, you know, I think I can really get a little bit more. Okay, so that's how the uh, first part went down. Let's see if we can get the uh, the actual workout. Now the workout had two parts. The first one was max set of 
um, power snatches and I'm going with 65 pounds, uh, just from the 95 just felt kind of heavy. And, uh, so there you am, there I am drinking my coconut water ready for it to start. And then every minute we're going to, oops, let me see if I'm doing this right. Every minute we're going to do some toes to bar. So Coach Molly reminds us, so it starts with the toes to bar. I'm going to do hanging knee raises. This workout was surprisingly challenging. Uh, it was pretty cool. It was seven minutes. We start out every minute with uh, the seven core movements. So we got the knee raises. I could do toes to bar, but it just would have taken so long. I probably wouldn't have gotten very many snatches. <laughs> These were plenty. I'm like, okay, look, it's a seven minute workout. Let's go make some good snatches here. I think I got 10 on the first round. Yeah, I did. Um, I, I kind of noticed that I was starting with my feet pretty narrow. One, one tip that you can use whenever you're cycling, uh, touch and go reps on the power snatch. <laughs> I was looking at the clock. Do I have any time left? Please. <laughs> you can have your feet uh, wider. And I think I do that a little bit later. I'll scroll ahead so we can kind of see that. Let's see, we got one or two more reps. See what I got. And it's like, all right, that's, I think that was 10. Maybe I get one more. <laughs> that was nine or something. Who knows? I wasn't, I was counting, but I wasn't counting right here. All right, let's see if a little bit later I get those feet a little wider. No, no. There, maybe there a little bit. So I think what I'm doing here is I'm def intentionally keeping my feet wide. That's wide for me. That's not necessarily going to be wide for you. The idea there is that you don't have to jump your feet out. You're basically just going to be able to cycle. Feet don't have to move. And I think I was getting six or seven snatches uh, in these later rounds. Yep. Go, Coach Bob, go. Boom. Well, at least I'm getting into the hips. <laughs> 65 pounds isn't too bad. Again, I want to really focus on good form and technique. Oh, look at that triple extension. Ooh, dang. Okay. Six pack abs poking out. Not really. <laughs> All right. Let's see. What do I want to say? Oh, yeah. I want to focus on um, good form and technique. Look, I brought my feet back in narrow again. I probably catch myself and I probably go wider. Do I? Nope. Nope. Just struggling, breathing heavy. <laughs> this this uh, workout was pretty much the way we we previewed it uh, last week. We thought this was going to be an interval workout that was going to be uh, a VO2 max kind of workout, and it definitely did not disappoint. Did not disappoint. Thank you so much for joining me tonight on uh, this little workout preview. I wanted to keep it short. The second part of that one, I didn't have the camera on, so you don't see all my burpees. Uh, there we were doing burpees and push press. Thank you guys so much. I hope you're having a great Friday and have a wonderful weekend. Take out, take, take care. I don't know what I'm saying. I like take out, take care and have a great day. Peace.